Well, good evening. That makes a change, doesn't it? Good evening to you. Evening because we've got a lovely launch, which um, I couldn't go without bringing to you on the day. And therefore, I couldn't go before six o'clock. And I knew you'd all be watching the TV then. So I thought we'd go for seven o'clock with the brand new Sunflower Dye by John Next Door. This is the plate. And also the Sunflower Leaves. So the Sunflower Dye set also comes with a strip which is going to cut you this lovely little serrated um, edge. Perfect for making, making window boxes but it's really for the centre of the flower and I just want to show you how to make these up. I um, am going to make a little card which has been totally inspired by the fantastic no less Sam Oaks um, who posted a very similar card uh, yesterday and I thought it was brilliant so I've given it a little bit of a twist but it really is along those lines um, and let's have a go and see what we can do. So I have first of all I have cut pre-cut some so we'll do those in a minute. I've got some Craft Artist linen card in colour salmon so um, I'm, it's going with okra so I'm giving these little sunflowers a little bit of a change up and I'm going to run that through my machine. Now this is one plate, so let's put that around the right way, um, which will give you, oh, I can't remember how many flowers all in one go, but lots, lots and lots. And then you've got your plate of sunflower leaves, which again gives you lots and lots. Um, nice little array, which I have already cut out there, um, so that I have got some in olive and some in moss green so that there is a mixture there for me. So I'm just going to take those all out. You can see that they all that. So how many have we got? Three, six, nine, twelve. Twelve flowers all in one go. I think you'll find there's two of each colour. So I'm going to put those together, the right sizes together, so that we have got two of each colour and then some little diddly ones. Now, I have already also cut out some of my strips here for you because I just wanted to show you how I go about doing them. So if we take one that I've already done, here is one in um, okra and then with the chocolate brown as the card centre. And I think that looks really pretty. Obviously, you can do it with all sorts of way, but this is what the dies are for. Now, I have got a little bit of a sneaky that I like to use for mine. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's just use these. So there is a right and a wrong way. So we need to fold that in half along the wrong side so that both, um, when we're looking at it, we're looking at both sides is the right side. So we're just folding that in half there like that. Okay, and I'm going to give it a little bit of glue along that, having folded it just along this little strip here. Oops, just to hold that all together. And then I'm going to at the same time fold that. Now you could be using um, the, uh, what do we call it? Craft glue glaze, that's what it's called, isn't it? You could be using that. Um, but I really wanted to show you this so that you could see it in all its glory. And all I'm doing is just turning that around. Granted, getting covered in glue, but I'm just turning that around. And I'm going about halfway and then I'll just snip that off. Now you can go further, you can do the whole way, which I would recommend you might do for the larger flower, but the others you can get two out of that particular one. I'm going to just keep that sort of holding that firm whilst that grabs. And then I'm going to take one of my very tiny, it's just three eighths of an inch um, circle punch. I'm just going to punch out that circle. Then I shall pop a bit of glue onto the back of that circle and then I can pop 
that my um, sunflower centre into there. And I can press down hard. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. So I can get it all stuck to the glue. So then that gives me the chance to flatten my flower out. But also when it comes to sticking, I've got a nice flat surface with which to stick that straight down onto the flower. So I reckon that that's a win-win myself. So now let's see how we're going to mould our flowers. So I'm going to take my largest pair and I'm going to use a bone folder. You could use your, sorry, I've got glue all over you. You could use your fingers, but you can see it's got like a centerpiece in there. And I'm just going to hold that with that thing, thumb and just sort of curl these along there. So I'm put it, pressing up from underneath and just curling them around like that so that we've got that sort of centerpiece there. And I'm going to do the same to this. So I'm holding in the center and I'm turning my flower around as we go, grabbing two or three petals and just pushing them against my bone folder. So I'll grab another one. So just curling that up. And just gives that sort of a dome effect in the center there, which is quite nice. You can get um, some flowers with all different colours, so why not, eh? Why not indeed? So, I'm then going to pop these together. So I'm going to pop a little bit of glue into the centre of one large one, and then the next large one with, as always, the petals in between the ones on the bottom layer. Let's just grab a ball tool, albeit not a very big one, but this one will do. Oh, just to hold them together like that and then I can take one of my ones that I've already done here glue in the centre and because it's got that nice flat surface I can easily pop that into the centre know it's going to grab and then I'm just going to wiggle it a bit just to push those little centre pieces out and I think that that looks really nice myself so I'm just going to put these two together as well. So one in the centre. Hold them two together. A little bit of glue in there so that I can put my centrepiece on. Just like that. Okay, so... How did we put this all together? Well, you will have seen already, I'm sure, that there are some amazing window boxes and uh, uh, window dies, which I just love. But I thought we're showcasing our little sunflowers here. So I've already gone ahead and I have got a craft card base. Then I've got my chocolate brown and my olive, which I've popped together there. And then I've given myself another piece of craft card and I've used the stripes or planks um, embossing folder from Nelly Snellen and I've just run that through. And then I'm going to give it a little bit of an age look with some brushed corduroy distress ink. So all I'm going to do with that is just wipe that down a little bit so that just picks up and really looks like old wood now. So just picks up on some of the embossing areas and not on others which is exactly what I want it to do okay so pop that down there then I'm going to take off my tape which I've already put on the back there and I'm going to stick that straight down onto my card front and that's going to give me my card basis on which to pop my flowers so oh, pop a little bit of glue into there as well, just to be on the safe side. I'm bringing my card, decide which way round it's going to be, going to have the top opening. So that's at the top there. I'm going to pop my panel into the centre as much as I can there. So then I have taken the small nesting circle die set 
and I've used die number, if you called the outer one die number one, I've used dumb, no, bleh, 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 I've used dies number five and seven. So I've missed one in between. And that's given me a sort of a basis on which to put my um, flowers. So I'm going to stick that straight down. I'm not going to raise that bit. I'm going to stick that straight down, more or less, into the centre. So it's not really, it's almost as a guide. You could obviously just use a pencil, but it will help a little bit as well. So that's how we're going with that. So then I'm going to take some of my flowers. And as I said, I've got some of the okra ones and then also some of the salmon ones. So we're going to do a bit of a mixture. Something like that. We've also got some little ones that we can throw in now and again as well, which could possibly have the centrepiece in, but you could also put a little um, gem or something like that in the centre as well. Or just alternatively, just leave them without anything because that looks quite nice too. And they just sort of build up a little bit more with that. Just take these little ones and just like that. And then the lovely um, sunflower leaf sets. So you have got left and rights of all sorts. You've got smaller, larger, individual. So there's lots of space that you can put all of your leaves there. Now, looking at this, I know roughly where I want my flowers to go, so I'm going to just take them off for the moment. But I'm just going to pop myself a bit of glue and then just sort of wind these around and make my frame up so that I'm using the circular piece as um, a base. And then I'm not putting glue everywhere because I want a bit of movement and we'll put some facing the other way as well so we've got lots of different bits and pieces going on so I'm using the circle there as a bit of a guideline but not as a definitive okay then I'm going to go for the next size. And I'm going to sort of just lay that over the top. Oops. And over here as well. Now I have cut, oh, stay. I have cut them out two, two lots. And I'm not quite sure whether I need to have another set. I'm not sure at this stage. I'm just winding them around. And I've got another loop here. Building them up. Oh, this leak dries clear glue. Jolly good. And then I've got these little individual ones. So these. I can pop anywhere where I think there might be a bit of a space and we can start to pop our flowers whoops, into place so that we can be sure where the space was. Nice and flat on the back so it gives us plenty of chance to get that to really stay stuck. And the same with there. Even though we've given our flowers a lot of movement by um, moulding them, we're still giving them an awful lot of space as well. So we'll come up some of the little ones. I think we have that one over there. And then I'm going to come down here. And again, two down there and let's put in some more of the little ones I think so just curling these up again 
no need to put in the centres but again if you wanted to you could but just oh, bring in these around and as always with all the flowers that John does there's always all sorts of different ways you can do them and hopefully we will get a chance to use a few different ones as we go along gives me more chance to put some of my um, single leaves in now so that we've got that nice set wow so pretty so thank you Sam for watching for um, giving me the idea to go ahead with this little one as always was going to do something else and I'm sorry you can't comment because I'm partying the night away or probably partying the day away I should say as we speak so there's our flowers got lots of flowers left over and then I've pre-cut myself just a very simple um, dice uh, sentiment which I'm just going to pop into the centre there and put a bit of foam on it just to lift it up a little bit and put a black piece there because that might look just a tad better if you could see through it and there we have our beautiful sunshine smile with our sunflowers so as always all the products to use today while stocks last of course are over on the maximumcrafts.com website and we'll go for about there I think like that um, lots of different we've obviously got all of the other dies that are available as well the box die the windows and the beautiful little houses and on Wednesday I'm going to make a card with the little houses um, so I will be back on Wednesday which is the 25th of May at 11 o'clock usual time we'll be back to normal um do leave a comment at the bottom of this so that i know that you watched even if you couldn't say anything at the time not in real and not chat to each other like you usually do which is great um but i hope you've enjoyed the little card that i've made for you today i'm going to pop that up onto the facebook page as well um i will pop that up at six o'clock just to remind you that at seven o'clock you can catch this video but obviously as always you can catch this video at any time and it's always on the YouTube channel so that you can refer to it if you wish to do so. So I hope you've enjoyed my sunflowers, uh, see you on Wednesday if I can and thank you so much for joining me today. Take care, bye bye.